guys welcome to our channel so today we're gonna do a quick after work clean with me i literally just came from work and the house is a mess i can't believe i let it get this bad but it's been an extremely busy week i had extended hours but that's really no excuse because a little bit day by day could have prevented this so let's get the cleaning if this is your first time here hi welcome to our channel if you're interested in organization type videos clean with me family vlogs etc then you're in the right place my name is vanna but you could call me v i live here with my boyfriend magnum and we want to record our journey together our journey in this home our journey through life so if you are interested please don't forget to hit that subscribe button let's get started so the goal of today's clean with me is to demonstrate that even after a hard day of work, you can still be productive in maintaining the home front. In general, I like to come home to a clean and well-groomed house, but we're not perfect. And sometimes a little bit of motivation is all we need. Let's get things going by whipping this place into shape. So to kick things off, I'm getting my under sink storage organized by labeling this new bin I snagged from Home Goods with this recycling sticker I purchased from Amazon. If you saw my last video titled Health is Wealth, you would have seen that I purchased new trash bins for under the sink. At the same time, I purchased this green recycling sticker. Unfortunately, the bins did not work out, but I have found a solution and I'm excited to share that with you later in this video. There is nothing more satisfying than having a clear sight line. I love to start with a clear counter space when cleaning. I feel like anytime there's clutter on the counters, it instantly looks messy. You guys, I'm not sure what I was listening to, but I was jicking mighty hard, Hey. The trash bin we ended up going with is by Simple Human. I found this bin based on my desired dimensions for underneath the sink and it conveniently rolls out for quick use so anytime I'm cleaning meat, anytime I need to throw something away, it's right under the sink. The bins I previously purchased were a bit too big and I didn't want to move them to a different location. I love the under sink location for the trash. So this bin was perfect. The bin has a dedicated trash bag but I think I'm going to use the ones from the grocery store because they're more affordable. As you can see, I'm still jamming to my music via the Amazon Echo. I recently reviewed my smart home product a few videos back and let me tell you, this product is amazing. We use it for music, TV, radio, podcasts, recipes, reminders, surveillance, light switches, commands. You name it. We use it for everything y'all, you name it. Next up, I'm going to multitask by emptying and refilling the dishwashers so that by the time I complete my clean with me, the new set of dishes will be spotless and I can put them away. I try to keep everything as organized as possible when cleaning so that I don't have to backtrack and do double work. I finally have a sense of organization in my kitchen. It's the little things like that that makes the house start to feel like a home. So your cups have a home, your plates have a home, everything has a designated location. Moving on to the dishes that I hand wash, which as of late have been just my baking pans. I'm also going to take the time to wash my stainless steel basin rack that I purchased from Amazon. I purchased this rack to protect my new sink from rust and corrosion, which can result from constant use daily. The benefit of this one in particular is the quality, it's stainless steel. Crazy thing is that it did not come with this sink, but it fits the sink perfectly. I'll link mine below. Just be sure when you order yours to measure your sink and find a rack that will retroactively fit your model. While I'm washing, I'm gonna go ahead and give my cast iron grates a good wash. I don't usually do this when I come home from work, but I skipped out on it last time I deep cleaned, so I made time to do it today. While I let my grates soak in some suds, I'm taking the time to properly wipe down my stove top. I love the look of shine stainless steel, it's so satisfying. Fun fact. 
like Magnum and I just started our IG page, so if you are enjoying this video and love content from this channel, feel free to follow us. I'll leave a link to that page below. Once I'm done with all my hand washing, I'm gonna scrub down my sink so that it can be free of debris and spotless. Continuing the trend of wiping away debris and dusting, I tackle the countertops with my Mrs. Myers. From there, I'm gonna use my stainless steel cleaner I purchased from at-home stores, and I'm gonna wipe down all my stainless steel surfaces. To finish off this area, I'm gonna whip out my handy dandy shark vacuum and give the entire area a good vac. I know you may have heard of me voicing nothing but love for this shark. I like the product so much, I'm gonna make a dedicated review on it to share exactly why it's my go-to for my floors. So stay tuned for that. Lastly, I'm going to tackle my dining space by wiping down all surfaces and giving my space a good vac as well. Today, I think I'm skipping on the mopping. I try to keep those to about once a week and I use my steam mop about every other day. Once the main areas have been wiped and vacuumed, I feel that the space is clean and my after work clean with me is complete. I want to thank you all for joining me today. I hope this video has motivated you to get things tidied up in your space. I want to thank you all for joining me in completing today's task. If you enjoy cleaning motivation videos like these, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe so you will not miss a thing. I will see you in the next video. Bye!